Hello guys, it's Shit Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. In case you don't know, Intel's DLSS, called XSS, had its latest 1.3 version released some days ago, sometimes with massive improvements in terms of visual quality, with improvements to stability and detail, while bringing newer quality presets like the native anti-aliasing option, which is awesome as Intel's XSS like AMD's FSR is free to use. It's free. And like the LSS and the upcoming FSR 3.1, it allows you to update the game's upscaler version by downloading the DLL files and putting them in the game's folder. And this without needing to wait for the developers to do their job. And you can follow the video passing right now in the screen, as it will teach you how to upgrade the XSS version of your games. Just keep in mind that this is an unofficial implementation and that official implementations can deliver better results. We don't really know yet because we don't have any games with official implementations of XSS 1.3, but I guess we'll know pretty soon. Also, I'm using an AMD card for these tests and for non-Intel cards, we have a different version of XCSS. We have the DP4A, I believe, which is the versions that are used on non-Intel cards and the XMX version, which is the one used for the Intel cards and is actually the original version of XCSS and delivers usually better image fidelity. And I also want to thank the user Phantoslayer9332 that reminded me of that and showed me the latest Digital Foundry video on that same topic. I must say though that unless Intel's next generation, the so-called Battle Mage, brings an awesome price performance ratio, the XMX version of XCSS will be kind of irrelevant as nobody will be buying Intel GPUs. And if nobody buys Intel GPUs, well, nobody will use the XMX version and everyone will use the DP4A1. So yeah, but I guess that's a topic for another video. And don't get me wrong because I do hope Intel GPUs get way better than they are right now. So with this all said, I'll be showing you native versus FSR 2.1 or 2.2, depending on the game, versus XCSS 1.1 or 1.2, depending on the game as well, versus the, the exchanged file with XCSS 1.3 to see how much better XCSS 1.3 got in terms of image fidelity, in image stability, uh, in terms of fine lining, in terms of performance, everything. Because for now, the best quality you can get is with today's sponsor. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall. Bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only 15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. So let's finally start. Starting with Spider-Man Remastered, we have TAA, XCSS 1.1, the official implementation, and XCSS 1.3 by exchanging the DLL files in the game's folder. And once again, remember that XCSS 1.3, the balanced mode with XCSS 1.3, sorry, the balanced mode has the same render resolution as the performance mode with XCSS 1.2 and below. And that's why we go from 110 to 118 FPS. But overall, it seems like XCSS 1.3 does a great job, even with lower render resolution. As we zoom in, we can see that in terms of general quality, the upscalers are doing a decent job, with even XCSS 1.3 upscaling from 1080p being very close to XCSS 1.1 here. And I don't say equal, as we do have some halos on the windows, which I believe look better with XCSS 1.1 due to the higher render resolution. Moving to another part now testing with FSR 2.1 included, we can see that FSR 2.1 is the obvious winner performance-wise, as XSS doesn't perform that well on AMD GPUs. But if you take a look at the image quality, things are way different. As we zoom into the back, for example, we can see that XSS 1.3 does a magnificent job here, delivering more FPS than XSS 1.1 due to the lower render resolution, like I said before, while getting rid of the shimmering we see in the net in the back, which is a win-win situation here. 
with XSS 1.1 having worse shimmering than FSR 2.1, but only in one part of the net, and XSS 1.3 having a solid image stability that would look even better at higher quality presets. Register with reception for the tour. I guess they want us to check in with them? With Horizon Forbidden West we can see that here, XCSS 1.3 brings more FPS and a crisper image, something that you can notice immediately by looking at the foliage and the stone pillars, or even just by looking at Alloy's equipment for example. But that's not all. One of the things that played XCSS 1.2 in this game was the excessive ghosting in things such as particles or water drops, things that were fixed with XCSS 1.3 that delivers a much better result even at lower render resolution. Although not everything is great, with both XCSS versions getting rid of lots of water particles compared to native, and with XCSS 1.3 somehow making the roots in the bottom blend in into the water, basically deleting data presented on the base image, which basically from a quality point of view is far from advisable. Now comparing FSR 2.2, FSR delivers more FPS as expected and also does a pretty decent job in the style delivering good details in terms of foliage for example, and this scene is one of the best to see some eye-catching differences in terms of detail. For example, FSR 2.2 handles foliage and the water drops decently, not making the root in the bottom disappear, but gets rid of most of water particles hovering around, and the ones that appear, well, have a slight ghosting trail. XCSS 1.2 is almost the same, delivering more particles but also a bigger ghosting trail on both particles and water drops, and XCSS 1.3 solves those issues but brings newer ones, like the disappearance of the root in the bottom, that just blends in into the water. From what I've tested so far in this game, I would use FSR 2.2 over XCSS 1.1 any day of the week, but if we're talking about XCSS 1.3, I would actually consider it, even if we did lose some minor details, as the overall image stability might be worth it. And you might be thinking, well, is just showing XCSS 1.3 at lower render resolutions compared to 1.2 and 1.1, as presets changed with 1.3, and now quality is the same as the previous balanced, and balanced is the same as the previous performance and etc. And that's why I bring you Starfield. And Starfield allows you to change the render resolution as you want for each upscaler with a minimum of 50%. And I can tell you that in these games, well, this game's TA implementation is so poor that we have more shimmering natively than when using upscaling techniques usually, so less detail for sure, but less shimmering as well. As seen, some of the shimmering is not that noticeable in this case as we're running 4K native, but 1440p native would deliver much more than this. As I zoom in, you can see how less stable TAA is compared to XCSS, as it delivers more detail, but a lot more shimmering in things like the rails in the top of the reservoir. Here we can also see one of the reasons why I never liked XCSS in most games, as I felt it delivered kind of a grainier image compared to FSR, and I found out that is due to the vertical lines we have when using it. Yeah, vertical lines, that when you look closely, are all over the place. Gladly, XSS 1.3 seems to finally fix that, eliminating those vertical lines and delivering more stability and detail on things like the rusty metal plates above, where the letters and the paint details look much sharper. And at the same time, the image looks less grainier and softer. And the beauty of this game is that it allows you to use the LSS, FSR or XSS at native resolution instead of TAA, and this is where they actually shine but it seems XSS 1.3 doesn't get much more detail here, and I believe it is due to XSS 1.3 being done to be used with a new native mode that they have, so using the 1.3 DLL version here and forcing it to the native resolution might not work as intended. 
And here, natively, I sincerely, and I repeat, I sincerely like FSR 3 more, as it has a bit more shimmering, for sure, but it's, it is still better than TAA in terms of stability, and delivers more sharpness than XESS 1.3 here. But remember, if an official XESS 1.3 version comes to this game, I believe the results will be considerably better. And even though FSR 3, that is actually FSR 2.2 in terms of upscaling, did very well as an anti-aliasing only, the upscaling side is not even close to XCSS in terms of stability and detail. First of all, if you look at the bottom panels with the numbers 03, you can see that FSR still retains some, some of the visual noise that's presented with TAA, while XCSS gets rid of it. And I do have the grain intensity to zero, by the way. And if you look at the top metal plates, you can see that FSR fails to upscale properly and the paint details kind of turn into a smudge, while XSS 1.2 retains much more detail and 1.3 improves upon it. Not even mentioning the rails in the top of, of the reservoir, that basically disappear with FSR and even shimmer a bit on top of that, while with XSS 1.2 we have more detail, with a bit of shimmering as well, and with XSS 1.3 the shimmering basically goes away. Although we have some severe ghosting in some very specific cases like the guard passing by in the background, but that would be hardly noticed in real gameplay scenarios as the closer characters have no such issues. And the last test is with Cyberpunk 2077. In this game you have to use the normal presets once again, so here I used XSS 1.2 performance and 1.3 balanced, so they both upscaled from the same 1080p render resolution, and of course, you can immediately see how much better the foliage looks, for example, having way less noise and more detail than XSS 1.2. As we zoom in, the video quality isn't great, sadly, but we can see that XSS 1.3 has no shimmer in the boxes up there, while XSS 1.2 does have it present. Also, it is important to note how TAA in this game just fails miserably at doing a decent job, as even at 4K there are some details that won't be rendered properly, while XSS, with way less pixels, does the job better in most cases showing how TAA needs improvements in this game. And finishing with FSR 2.1, I do have to tell you that Cyberpunk developers made impossible look possible when they managed to make FSR look worse with each update. After the first XSS update where the Intel GPU started working properly with Cyberpunk, FSR looked much better than after the 2.01. And I know that for a fact as I tried FSR and the LSS dozens of times before this update. But anyway, FSR 2.1 here just looks bad. Here we either have a shimmer fast in the foliage or really tiny hands twerking. Even in the tree up front, the difference in image stability between FSR 2.1 and XCSS 1.3 is massive. FSR 3.1 needs to come as soon as possible. As we zoom in, things just get worse for FSR, with excessive shimmering across the board and low amount of detail being kept when compared to XESS. If we look at this area, for example, FSR doesn't seem to be that bad, but in certain foliage movements and thinner lines, let's say that, it just can't deliver the amount of data XESS does. But well, FSR 2.1 was released in the end of 2022 and 2.2 released 14 months ago, and from what AMD showed, FSR 3.1 does seem to be a massive improvement across the board. And in some games like Cyberpunk 2077, we surely need those improvements. But I guess we need to wait and see. So guys, conclusion, 
<laughs> Another stupid thing. As you saw, XSS 1.3 is a major, a major improvement over XSS 1.1 and XSS 1.2 in several scenarios. In some others, it doesn't really work as it should, and it has some flaws here and there, obviously, because not everything is perfect. But in terms of overall quality, it is definitely an improvement. And sometimes, even with a lower render resolution, it can deliver the same quality or even better quality than the previous XCSS versions. So since we have a lower render resolution as the presets changed, we can actually get better performance and at the same time equal or better image quality, like for example in Spider-Man, where we actually have lower render resolution, but we have much better upscaling quality compared to XCSS 1.1. But even if we go to Horizon Forbidden West, we have XCSS 1.2 and even there, the 1.3 just does a much better job much more crisper images, better quality in movement like you're seeing right now in the screen, for example, since I didn't show you movement before, slow down to only 20% of the original pace, you can see that in terms of, well, in terms of visual fidelity in movement, XCSS 1.3s, well, it is quite better than XCSS 1.2, definitely, and if we compare it to FSR 2.2, FSR just gets very pixelated uh, with Alloy's equipment, with Alloy's with Alloy's hair, with even with the background getting very, very pixelated when Alloy's is attacking, while with XCSS 1.2 it gets much better and XCSS 1.3 gets things even further, with the objects around being, well, in a better shape, not pixelated and overall retaining more info from the native image. So I do expect that as soon as official XCSS 1.3 implementations come out, they'll get considerably better than, well, just changing the DLL version, because although we do have the upscaling here, uh, for example, when we tested with Starfield, FSR 3.0 at native resolution, basically native anti-aliasing, was actually better than XCSS 1.3, and I believe that's because XCSS 1.3 since we're just changing the DLLs, it is not ready to properly work at native resolution while FSR 3 is, uh, or NVIDIA DLSS is, for example. DLSS has uh, DLAA and FSR 3 has native anti-aliasing, and now, with official implementations of XCSS 1.3, we're going to have native anti-aliasing with XCSS as well. So. I guess in those scenarios, XCSS will become much better in official implementations. But overall, the difference might be there, but still, even with only changing the DLLs, right, right now, just really easy, really simple, in like one minute. I mean, I really did it in one minute in this video passing right now on the screen, so it takes only one minute downloading the files and exchanging them in the games folder. Same performance, much better quality. And it takes, once again, one minute. And well guys, that's all for this video, I really hope this video helped you in some way, at least clearing some of your doubts regarding XCSS 1.2 versus XCSS 1.3 or even FSR versus the current state of XCSS. And I can tell you right away that as soon as FSR 3.1 comes officially for Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, I will be testing the different the different versions, sorry, of FSR 2.2, I guess I'll just record some of them right now in order to, well... Uh, I believe that game has FSR 2.1 actually, so I'll be recording some parts now with FSR 2.1, uh, then I'll compare them with, uh, with uh, well, with the next to come, FSR 3.1, that improves the upscaling ability by a lot, and then I will compare it with XCSS 1.2, the official implementation in the game, and XCSS 1.3 as well, because I really want to know, since... FSR 3.1 seems to be a major, a major uplift in terms of visual, uh, visual quality and I could compare it with the LSS as well and I'm sure that most people will, but I'm mostly aiming at these two since they are free to use. The LSS is only usable with NVIDIA cards while XCSS and FSR will be usable with any card. So that's why I'm focusing on these two, maybe later doing uh, the LSS versus FSR video on this topic as well, maybe. Once again, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video, and leave your comment in, com in the co <laughs> leave your comment in the comment section, and let me know what you think about the, the differences. If you thought the differences were meaningful or not really, if they were kind of useless for you, just let me know. Thank you very much, and see you in the next video, guys. Bazinga!